Many people, including political analysts, wondering what will happen with House Bill 2, which in part requires people who are in state government buildings to use the bathroom of the gender on their birth certificate. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janneville is in our newsroom with more reaction to that and what's next in this transition. A.J.? Hey, Sean. Hey, Beer Shell. You guys would remember earlier in this year that Governor Pat McCrory took a lot of heat when this bill passed during that special session, and this all came about after the ordinance from Charlotte. Now, as of right now, people are confused on what might happen. People against HB2 are hopeful that the bill will be repealed, but there are people who want HB2 to stay on the books. We've replaced somebody who is anti-LGBT, who is the face of the discriminatory House Bill 2 uh, with somebody uh, who is pro-LGBT um, and pro-equality. I think it, it sends a big message. For months, people against House Bill 2 protested and rallied, calling for the governor to repeal the law. And for months, Governor Pat McCrory defended it against national scrutiny. Time and time again, uh, McCrory uh, uh, doubled down on HB2, and I think North Carolina showed when they uh, went to the polls that they do not agree with uh, uh, McCrory, and they voted uh, for Roy Cooper. Not everyone agrees with that idea. Obviously, the people of North Carolina support the principle of privacy and safety in bathrooms, locker rooms, and showers, and so we hope that the governor-elect will continue to support that, that same position. Tammy Fitzgerald is the executive director of the North Carolina Values Coalition, a group in support of House Bill 2. She says it's obvious the majority of the state favors HB 2 because voters chose to keep power in the hands of Republicans in favor of the bill in the General Assembly this past election. Fitzgerald says the North Carolina Values Coalition is putting Roy Cooper on notice that the state has different values from the outside interest parties she says supported his campaign. The people of North Carolina overwhelmingly support the idea of protecting the privacy and safety of, the, of their wives, their daughters, their mothers. Now, Roy Cooper did campaign on the promise to repeal HB2. We will hear from him tomorrow evening here in Raleigh for the first time since Governor Pat McCrory conceded today. I'm here in the newsroom. I'm AJ Janneville for CBS North Carolina.